welcome back last uh, video we talk about uh, all this uh, three different types uh, of feeds we have a clearance feed interference feed transition feed now we're gonna go over the uh, last part of the feed which is uh, standard feed and this standard feed show uh, the different type of uh, standard feeds the American National Standard Institute document government governing feed is NCB 4.1. So in the standard feed, we have uh, five different uh, categories. We have a uh, running and sliding feed, RC, and LC is current locational feed, LT transition location feed, LN interference locational feed. FN is force and string feed. Standard feed, running or sliding feed are used to provide a similar running or sliding the performance with an allowance for suitable lubrication for all size within the uh, specified range. Table of American National Standard Running the and Sliding Feed NCB 4.1. From this table, you can see that. Uh, there are nine classes of uh, running sliding feed. We have a different nine different uh, classes. I'm going to show you the table uh, in the next slides. But uh, for the class, uh, the first class is used with uh, a closed sliding feed for accurately locating part that most fit together without any place. As you go down to the list, class RC2 is used for sliding feed where ac accurate location is important but where greater maximum clearance that is provided by class rc1 feed is necessary and then as you keep going down to the list to the last one which is the classes um, rc8 and rc9 are used for loose running feed so from very tight rc1 to uh, loose running feet with large tolerances are necessary together with an allowance uh, on the external part. So uh, the LC current location, current location feet are used with parts that are stationary but must be able to be freely assemb assembler and disassembler. So uh, this current location feet is a part where the stationing must be able to freely assemb assembler or disassembler. Transitional location feed, transition to locational feed uh, fall onto the con uh, continuum between currents and interference feed. So between the uh, currents and interference, that's the transition locational. So for between this location, this interference, that's the uh, transition, uh, transition location feed. And the, uh, very, it's very important the accuracy locate where the locational accuracy is uh, important, but a small amount of occurrence of interference is allowable. Interference location feed are used when locational accuracy is very important and for part requiring rigidity and alignment but not special requirement for ball uh, pressure. Interference locational feet are not used for part that is designed to transmit fractional load to other parts through the tightness of the feet. Force and string feet. Force and string feet are the a special type of interference feet used when maintained of a constant uh, pressure for all size within the specified range is important. The m amount of interference vary with the diameter and the difference between minimum and maximum value is small to ensure maintain of the result pressure within reasonable limit. So uh, this standard feed, just want to show you a different type of standard feed and then we're going to go to the few more slices to show you what is all this current transition location interference for string feed 
and the stand uh, and all this the uh, running and sliding feet. So the table here is this table here is to talk about this RC running and sliding feet. And this, as you can see, we have uh, how many different uh, classes? We have total of R class R1, RC2, RC3, RC4, and so on, all the way to RC9, nine different uh, classes. So your dimension of your shaft has uh, have a nominal size uh, inches. Let's say if your shaft length is between 0 to 0 0.12, then your allowable current is between 0.1 and to 0.0.45. Standard tolerance limit, you have a hole and you have a shaft. So for the hole, and it's between 0.2 and 0. For the shaft, is from negative 0 0.1 to negative 0 0.25. So each class, we have a diff they have a different uh, currents, they have a hole, they have a different uh, um, standard tolerance limits here. So by looking at this table, you know what are the acceptable uh, tolerances. So same thing applied to a standard current location feed. For the, the current location feed, again, I use with parts that are stationary, but must be able to be freely assem assembled or dis disassembled. So your part has to be uh, freely, can be removed, can be, uh, can be put on the, remove it from, you can put them together and you can remove it. Again, same situation. When you define the dimension for this uh, part, if the dimension between, say, uh, point, let's say point, uh, point one two to point two five, for this class, you can the uh, the current is point four to two point three, and the whole the the standard torrent limit is uh, from one point two to zero, and for the shaft is between uh, 0.4 to 1.1. So all this number here is to allow you to depend on what class of your uh, your object is going to be. So based on your dimension, nominal size for the object, you can use all this uh, different uh, standard tolerance limit. So same thing for the uh, standard transition location feed. Is uh, what is the feed uh, uh, tolerance? Depend the nominal size of your inches, and the larger the the class is, the tolerance is going to be the acceptable tolerance is going to be greater. So you have a smaller. Let's say if you want to create a smaller portion of the part then uh, your torrents has to be your acceptable torrents or the limit should be less compared to uh, a larger part of your object if you want to decide a hole and a shaft your allowable the greater the class the uh, the bigger the object the bigger the object your acceptable range going to be larger. So same thing applies for this interference location uh, feed. The limit interference for a certain nominal size is going to be based on the, the nominal size of the object and based on the, how big the object is going to be. And the again, the larger the object, the, uh, the acceptable torrents going to be larger. Another uh, tran transition location. So the transition location is between is squeezed between the current location and the interference location. So how how do you uh, use the fit table? Uh, the fit table obviously pretty straightforward, and we have to know how what how this value uh, determined. So first thing, uh, let's say. Value are limit in thousand of in inches. 
uh, let's say a basic size, you got 0 0.0156. So your basic size is 0 0.0156 inches. Your nominal size, your nominal size range is going to be 0 0.02, 0 0.012. So if you look at uh, the last two for point oh two this range for this nominal size and for this class you're gonna to determine all this value is to go by um, getting the to subtract some of this number. For example again from the table the nominal size is between zero to zero point one two so your limit of currents is 0.1 is equal to, so you go to three digit because it's thousand of inches. So this turns into 0 0.001. So your limit of currents is between 0 0.001 to 0 0.00045. For the standard limit, same thing. You move the decimal three places, three places to the left to obtain the value in inches. So given 0 0.02, you move three decimal to your left because everything is in thousand of inches. So then your standard limit are 0 0.002. If the shaft is 0 0.1, then it's 0 0.0001. If your shaft is 0.25, then it's going to be 0 0.000. 2, 5. So calculating for the torrent dimension, so for the hole, you got 0 0.0156, that's the basic hole size. You're going to add 0 0.0002, standard limit in 1000. So your upper limit for the hole is 0 0.0158. Same thing for the basic hole size, 0 0.15. Standard limit in thousand is zero, so your lower limit for the hole is 0.156. So you have the whole upper limit, lower limit. So for the shaft, same thing with the basic size of 0 0.0156 minus 0 0.001 to give you the upper limit for the shaft, and for the lower limit of the shaft. You're going to have to subtract 0 0.0156 minus 0 0.25. So this number here is the, this number here should be 2 instead of 3. So the, to check your calculation, so once you determine all that, the torrent dimension for the basic size of 0 0.0156, so the whole is. 0 0.0156 and the shaft is 0 0.01550 and here is your uh, the limit for the hole and the shaft. So to check the calculation, you're going to subtract that 0 0.01580 upper limit of the hole minus 0 0.01535 lower limit of the shaft and the limit of the currents is 0 0.00045 and the lower limit is 0 0.0156 and uh, subtract the upper limit of the shelf give you 0 0.001 that's the limit of currents. Limit of the currents is 0 0.001 therefore from the charge is 0 0.1 and if it's 0 0.0045 then it's 0.45. So if you go back to that table so you can see the uh, Shelf for this particular example is if it's the if it's standard for the hole is 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and depend what your nominal size is. So if your nominal size is 0 0.0 to 0 0.12, then you're going to look up from this uh, 0 0.2 to uh, 0.25 to get all this. Uh, this uh, standard torrents. So this value here, this table is very useful. But then, uh, of course, uh, if you don't have the table, then you're gonna have to know 
how to calculate all this upper limit and lower limit based on this uh, calculation. With that, uh, we're going to go to uh, the uh, some of the uh, another section called the uh, level of tolerance for the common manufacturing process. Uh, we can watch that uh, next video to continue on with uh, chapter 6. Let's go.